Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you this card that I did uh, using an Art Impressions stamp set called Ed. This one's actually a, uh, can be used as a spinner, but uh, I can't, haven't been able to locate where I could actually get the dies from. I don't even know if dies are available. So, uh, also in this card, I've actually used the Gerda Steiner Lucky Duck, and I'm using the two fish and the little dragonfly from that. There's the dragonfly and the second fish. Um, using onyx black ink to stamp everything out, and. This one's actually he's standing in water with his gumboots on, um, so there's no grass involved in this one. Dragonflies, I think I put three, I haven't got a sample card in front of me, but I think there's three uh, dragonflies I think I put on, or two was it? Maybe just two. Two. Um, the fish, I put those down to where the water would be around his gumboots. Three of those I believe I put in. He's all, I don't know if you can actually see from there, but he's all tangled up in his line. He's uh, going fly fishing, I guess, and uh, he's all tangled up in his line. I think it's quite funny. I remember years ago, my father got his ear caught, was on a windy day, he decided to go fishing, and there was gusts of wind, and uh, his hook caught up in his ear. <laughs> so, you know, he had a pierced ear for a while. Um, okay, the inks that I'm using here, uh, as you can probably see, um, for his hat, I'm going to be using Gathered Twig. For his shirt, Festive Berries. Uh, for his waistcoat, Gathered Twigs again. His jeans is Faded Jeans. His boots, Mowed Lawn. Uh, glasses, Salty Ocean. His face and arms will be Tattered Rose. Uh, the handle of his rod will be Gathered Twig. His rod, it's uh, the rod Oh, the rod itself, the actual fiberglass part of the rod, I've got a mix of gathered twig and festive berries, so it's sort of like a red tint to it. The little fish, I'm doing those with pine needles. Uh, the eye is uh, just done with a, a black glaze pen, and uh, I've also put on the um, um, glossy accents. The dragonfly's uh, body, I've done that with uh, gathered twig. And I've used iridescent, uh, I'm not sure what colour I've used on there because I did, did a few different cards, uh, which you'll see that towards the end. It could have been blue, green, yellow, pink, any of those colours. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, while I've actually still got your attention, uh, the reason that this card came about was uh, a friend of a friend actually asked, had seen the cards that I didn't ask if I could actually do something. For her son's got a birthday coming up and he's a very keen fisherman and uh, I've actually found these I had, didn't have any stamp sets at the time so I've actually bought this this one and another stamp set called Catching Zeds uh, from Art Impressions and um, I quite like them I'm not sure if she's going to buy one yet because it's her son's birthday is not for a few more days yet at the time when this video went is uh, being edited um, so I'm not sure if she's going to get one but anyway if she does it's good if she doesn't it doesn't matter um, and also I decided that I'll actually try and do some mini series uh, this one I'm going to call cards for him as in like masculine cards cards for men so this will be part of the of, this will be the second or first and second I'll have two stamp uh, two cards there now that I've got two stamps both of them to do with fishing but I will as I can afford it I will actually buy more stamps because uh, I don't get the stamps given to me I have to buy them and uh, put more cards up with uh, like for, for him sort of masculine style sort of cards for men so uh, this is one of them so look let, let's just I've already got run through all the colors that we're using uh, so I'll sit back and just listen to some music <laughs>
hi I'm back again um, the shading that I just put on the hat was a gathered twig as well uh, the, uh, uh, the the hat was painted in gathered twig but I've used gathered twig just uh, shaded a bit the boots I'm actually shading those in pine needles it's quite a nice color pine needle I don't use that one very often um, the jeans, the, even though they were actually painted in faded jeans, I'm actually using faded jeans to shade them with as well. So, uh, just a darker, more concentrated sort of colouring of shaded jeans on there. The shirt, is it the shirt? Yes, the shirt I'm doing now, uh, hickory smoke. I'm actually using probably, I would say, a little bit of the red which is the festive berries I believe was the red that I used and uh, some hickory smoke the face I mentioned earlier is tattered rose and I because he's sitting out in the, or standing out in the sun in the water we get reflection on the water you get a lot of sunburn when you're standing in water he's getting sunburned so I've put some festive berries on for his sunburn and a little bit of hickory smoke as well I believe just a shade here and there probably yeah under his hat and under his arm area um, his eyes or his glasses I've done with the blue where is it um, I don't think I put oh, a glass of salty ocean yes salty ocean uh, also the, the water that's around his boots I have done with just trying to find it sorry uh, water salty ocean and the rest of the background blended salty ocean oh, so all the water there is I think the water ripple that's around his boots I've done that with the um, probably faded jeans or something a little bit different anyway might have even been blueprint sketch in that water around his boots but the rest of it is salty ocean where the fish are I've just penciled as you can see I've just penciled in a line there uh, just to um, follow because I would never be able to put a straight line if I was to try and do it freehand I'd have to have some sort of a penciled in line there for myself and just going around all the little fishies the fish when I come in to paint those I just do those with the um, pine needles just trying to get it reasonably smooth but not worrying too much if it isn't got a little bit of fluff there by the looks <laughs> I have two cats in my house and they get every the fluff gets everywhere and I get it all over my stuff. Okay, coming in now with the pine needles to do the fish. The eyes on the fish and the eyes on Ed, I actually do those with the dot them with the Sakura black glaze pen and then use glossy accents over them afterwards. I've always had problems in the past of where to put my things to let them dry because glossy accents does take a while to dry you've got to really put it aside for a good hour I guess to let it dry and it's only recently in recent weeks that I've actually bought a like a, just a little set of drawers as in like a plaster one of those little ones that you, you can put your A4 sheets of paper in and I just put them in th my things into there now and I can fit on each uh, drawer I could put up to four cards so I could hold up to 20 cards in there drying at any one given time which is more than more space than what I currently need anyway um, so that's what I do now when I'm drying my cards it's, it's out of the way no one's going to put something on top because that's my biggest fear is that my husband or son will come home and plonk something on top of my cards when they're drying uh, okay now the iridescent paint that I'm using there was the iridescent green there's Joe Sonia I showed it up uh, just before there so that's what I'm using. I, I mix a little bit of the the brown, let's see, dragonfly, body gathered twig mixed with a little bit of iridescent. So I use the green iridescent paint mixed with a little bit of the gathered twig so the body becomes a bit iridescent as well. And the wings are just purely just the iridescent paint. Um, this is actually true paint. It's a, a water-based uh, acrylic paint but not a watercolor paint so you've got to be very careful to make sure that you wash it thoroughly out of your brush um, that's why I've, I've actually stamped it onto a or sorry dripped it onto a 
a stick it note there so I can just peel away the stick it note and throw it away afterwards because if I put it on my palette if I forget to get rid of it it'll just stay there forever so I, I just put it on the piece of paper there and then I can just peel it off and throw it away later on and I think I'm just coming in there with just a little bit more gathered twig just to put on top just to sort of get it a little bit darker I'm not sure if that had the iridescent paint mixed with it and there's the iridescence you can see them shining nicely on the little dragonfly wings that's all I was showing there and that's pretty much the panel finished I've blended in the sky uh, says blended with salty ocean but that one actually looked a little bit lighter but if you like this please subscribe and uh, click the like box thank you bye bye <laughs>